Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampaCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks for joining me today. We have another one of our card candies. Uh, this one is from Mary Harvey. Isn't that beautiful? I love everything coffee. So whenever we get a coffee set, I get that. Mary gets it. Um, so I'm so glad she used this for her card candy. Uh, it also comes with dies. This is an online exclusive, so you won't find this in the catalog, but um, it has a, a stamp set dies. It has designer paper, which she cut uh, this little cup out of the designer paper. It comes with a ribbon and some embellishment. So it's a really great suite. Um, okay, so we're gonna make two cards today. And I've just picked the colors that she used in her card candy. So I have the first one, I've got a half sheet of um, Lost Lagoon and a piece of basic white. And then on the next card, we have Early Espresso and Lemon Lolly. Now I've done, I've used the um, Distressed Brick embossing folder for these because Distressed Brick always makes me think of a, um, like a coffee shop, you know? I don't know why, it just does. Mary's got some ribbon in here, which I am going to use on my cards. Okay, she made a cute little topper with the designer paper too. So, so cute. And then she put it on a window sheet. So you can see on the back where we can use, um, we just glue the, the dimensionals on there and then we can just pop them off. So it's really awesome. Okay, let's do this one since that's the closest at hand. Let's see, I don't know which one I'm gonna use that ribbon on yet. But what I'm thinking, I'm just gonna kinda of lay it out. I'm thinking I wanna use my two cups and my hello there. Okay. Pull those off. So I'm kind of thinking I want to do this with this one. I think that's cute. So I think maybe I'll use that ribbon on the other one. We're just gonna go with this. So, so cute. Okay. These cards are all very quick and simple. They have basic layers. We're not doing anything crazy. But if you ever get a chance to sign up for a card candy swap, I would encourage you to do that. All right, let me grab some dimensionals. Okay. I'd like to do the pink one first. I don't know. Do you ever you know, think which color do I want, which one should be first, I don't know. Okay, that I'm going to, this one lost its sticky on the clear, so I'm just gonna add another sticky right next to it. Oh my goodness, so cute and easy. How adorable is that? I'll put a white one on the inside. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I will do all that later, but um, so cute. Now, let me see. I think I have the swirls that go with this. Let me look in my drawer. Here they are. These are the little swirly embellishments. They are called uh, adhesive back swirl dots. That makes sense. I have a couple partial packs. Why? I don't know. I always have a couple packs that are halfway used. Okay, let's use a couple of these. Um, I'm going to use the colors. Let's see. I could put... Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to just do... I'm going to do a couple of these coral ones. Just right there, and maybe we'll do one over here just to kind of tie in that coral color on that cup, or, or I don't know if it's necessarily coral, it might be um, uh, petal pink, that's it. Cute, okay, that's one. All right, let's do our other card. So in the designer paper, 
there's lots of different patterns. And for this one, she used, she cut out this cup out of Lost Lagoon, but they have these in the yellow and the, um, yellow and in the petal pink or Calypso Coral, whichever one it is. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see, where do we want to put this? I think I want to have my, my like coffee pot kind of pouring into my cup. So let's maybe tape this down here around the bottom. I'll grab some scotch tape. Okay, I don't know, sometimes I use uh, my seal adhesive to put the ribbon on, but I don't know. I just like scotch tape just feels a little more a little stronger there Okay Put a little adhesive right on that ribbon to kind of help cement it down All right, this is popping up a little bit, but we're gonna We're gonna cover that so it will be okay. So I'm going to put my, try to pick up the right adhesive. I'm going to put one at the bottom, one kind of at the top. Kind of hold that in place right there. And then we're going to take this fun little coffee pot. Let me pull it off. It doesn't want to come. It doesn't want to come off. Okay, I'm going to use just a little bit of seal, whoops, uh-oh, that's not good. Seal adhesive <laughs> right here. All right, stay in place. I'm gonna fix this so we can make sure we get it. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is grab a dimensional. We're gonna make sure we get this so it stays. So I'm gonna put two on the pot, on the coffee. Okay, let's make sure we get that piece that I tore off. And then we'll peel off that piece that's behind right there. And I think that will make it secure. Maybe we're gonna do one more mini dimensional. Do I have a mini? Let's do one more mini right here. Okay. We'll have that kind of go in that direction. All right, and then we have a spoon. Let's get the spoon off. That's got a glue dot on it. And we'll kind of kind of put that right here. Do I want it? I'm gonna have it just kind of sitting right there. Cute. Okay. I hope I left room for my for my sentiment. the best part of my day. Whoops, all right, I'm sticking to everything. No! Oh my goodness. Let's see, I might, I was thinking I'd put it there, but now I feel like I wanna put it up here. Okay, that's it in threes. I like to do it in threes, so if you notice right here, one, two, three, one, two, three, and threes like a triangle is really great for helping with card layout. So that's what we're gonna do. And let's just grab a couple of these swirly dots. I'm gonna use the darker ones this time. Let's do one down here, and we'll do maybe one over here and one right next to it. There we go. Threes, once again, in a triangle. Right here in a triangle. Triangles are really great, um, kind of a, a good, I'm thinking of the word, <laughs> a good rule to follow when you're doing your card making to do things in a triangle. And that really helps with card placement or, you know, with, with your element placement. Okay, that is it for today. Just two cards today, super quick and easy, especially because Mary did all the work for me. So all I had to do is stick it on. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the link below or post them below. I will be happy to 
answer comments or questions. And um, there's a host code ordering link as well under the YouTube video in the description. I would love to have your order. If you place an order of $50 or more, you always get a free goodie from me. So um, I hope you enjoyed it today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.